Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Baba Yoruba. Especially welcome you to today's episode of a new teaching. I'm your brother. I'm also your servant in the understanding of the universe. And I do hope that you can do well to call your family, friends, and um, together possibly share this with them, either now or in the future. And for the benefit of those who will be watching this much later, we ask that you be a part of our community, especially if you're an African of African descent, to learn the things that your ancestors knew and what exactly attracted the invaders into our continent and why they don't want you to love yourself, know yourself. And the real reason why everything African seems to be diabolical to them, because they don't understand. Remember, I always say that diabolism is when you do not have access to the kind of power that someone else has access to. So, for instance, if we are five in this room now, and one of us have the power to be able to disappear and reappear, it is very, very easy for all, the rest of us, four of us that is remaining, to say this person is diabolical. But the moment that the rest four of us have understanding of how we could disappear and reappear, we don't call it diabolism again. We call it power. So the knowledge of power and the lack of knowledge of it is what determines your disposition towards the world Diabolism. So it is a good thing to be diabolical. Before we continue today, let us pour veneration to the ancestors. It is always very good when you're pouring veneration to our water around you. And this particular water today, you can get yourself one. We will be drinking it after the veneration because we will be singing the words of healing into the water. Watch me keenly today. Everything I do here today is to show you an example of how you can exhibit power and understand the words of the universe. Usually, we take off this when we are doing veneration. And I would have taken off my wristwatch, but it's made of plastic, not uh, metal. But to be on the safer side, we can still take it off. If you have earring and the rest with you, you can also take it off. I'm saying this, I'm stylishly waiting for you to also get your own cup of water. And when you want to do veneration with water, ensure that you carry it like this, irrespective of the container. It could be a bronze container, it could be aluminum container, it could be ceramic container, but make sure that you hold it affectionately. Always hold your water affectionately. Do not hold water with the handle of the cup, it is very, it is you distancing yourself. There is a need for water to fill every single data in you. And sometimes even without saying a word, when you hold the water in such a passionate way or passionate matter, uh, manner, it is able to download your present desire and need, either health, either understanding, either inspiration. And so when you drink it, it's able to give you answers to your pondering even without saying a word because either you like it or not you're talking or not talking there is an act of constant request on your mind there is a thought in you there's an imagination and water is always there to help you put yourself in the right atmosphere and also give you limelight so you take your water and you hold it like this this is the reason why in the ancient world our fathers our mothers drink water from a calabash and there's no way you will take calabash like this. You have to collect it like this. It is your moment of trying to be one with that water. So I'm gonna say a few words in Yoruba because I don't know how to interpret it in English. Then I will switch to English. But whatever you do, stay with me. Take your water. I Eba kutu kutu a wo uro, eba gari gari a wo san, eba bele a wo ero le, eba beri mo beri mo a wo uru, eba koda ye, eba sheda, eba mwa yaw pakala ke, 
Aruba Shomabale. We speak to you, water, today. As you flow, may healing flows to us. We speak to you, water, today. As you quench thirst, may every thirst of our sorrow be quenched today. May every thirst of our longing for knowledge be quenched today. May every thirst of our lack of breakthrough be quenched today. Whoever drinks water, surely we experience ease. May we experience ease in our life today. Whoever swim in water, surely we experience cleanliness. May every death in our body, may everything that is not palatable in us, in our health, be washed away today with water. Ashe. And then you drink it. So for those who request for healing, those who are going through anxiety, people who are going through mental insanity, sort of things, you can easily just say your own request in the water, holding it affectionately before drinking it. And nothing says you must go all the water at the same time. I'm an addict. Uh, I'm an addict of water. Really, I can drink a whole lot of water at a time. But then, nothing says you must cup it all at the same time. You drink it with respect and allow it to work in you per time. There's going to be a cost, a whole cost on water, a whole cost on water, on how to understand water and how to talk to water, uh, hear from water, appeal to water, and the importance of water. So, but if you're to learn it. May peace be upon everyone listening to us today. Ashe. So we Honor everybody who is greeting Babalao today. Thank you for joining us on today's program. Thank you for joining us. Aboy Boshi Shay Fumbu Bueni to Banki Babalao. Aboy Boshi Shay. 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 Ashe Kuribe. Ashe Kuribe. All right, so today, what are we talking about? We are talking about understanding banana. <laughs> Either you call it banana or you call it plantain. I think um, uh, we need to do something about the title. It's supposed to be plantain, not banana. It took me a while as a person to understand the difference between plantain and banana. And I'm still having a struggle still today. All right, so we are going to be talking about understanding plantain. Uh, we, we, we want to be able to juggle within the series of talking about our ancestors, the Oishas, the Amonile and also being able to speak to nature. It is because the invaders met our ancestors speaking to all of these elements of nature that they call us animist. If they are not calling us pagan, they also they call us animist. They find us strange. They find us as set of people who are quite different from their usual experience. And because of that, it was, be, it was through their own projection of fear that they dealt with us. They dealt with us from their own projection of fear. If somebody say it is impossible, you need to ask them, is it impossible for you or you are the mouthpiece of the universe? If somebody say these folks are evil, you need to ask, are they evil to you or you are a mouthpiece of the universe? Unfortunately, we Africans have accepted 
a lot of wrong narratives regarding us so much for a longer year that it is impossible almost uncertain for us to rewrite our own story except for the microscopic few who are trying their best to change the narratives of this particular race so when they came invaded us and saw that we have several many abilities and we are highly spirited people they knew that there is a need to be inducted into our order a sacred order and then it's not as of today our forefathers and ancestors were not inducting the invaders into our sacred orders until the traitors amongst us which are our kings begin to allow them take some part of our spirituality somebody somewhere there will say if we are that powerful if we knew all of this how come they took us as slaves to a foreign land and you must pity those who are of african-american in diaspora today they are going through a lot just imagine that you as an africa african in africa completely knowing your root and where you came from your family in manova as the one who was born in a strange land where you could not even figure out where you belong or who you are living as an orphan in a strange land so a lot of our african-american struggle a lot to balance their mental disposition some of them practice african spirituality from the perspective of oppression suppression vindication and anger one of the sources of the invaders is that when you get to know yourself you will know yourself from the negative aspect we have read about ego landing where some set of folks feel like instead of them to procreate in slavery they will rather drown themselves they will rather drown themselves i would really love us to focus on what we are teaching today and this person please be careful don't distract me this is the time to teach don't tell me to call you back during a live broadcast there's a time for everything there are different channels for different things please it's really distracting so they rather die than for them to to be a slave but those who could withstand the threat the pressure and all the you know decided to procreate and do you know that at a point in time during slavery african spirituality practice of this way of life was banned it was outlawed why because how could you explain that a few set of slaves cultivate hundreds of acres of land overnight? How did they do it? Is it with the same hands? There was not an invention of tractors there. How do you explain that some bunch of slaves overnight or within a few hours were able to harvest acres of plantation we are talking about exhibition of supernatural ability we are talking about the manifestation of divine reality the knowledge of nature to be able to call the earth to your rescue, to aid you in planting. Your forefathers, your ancestors were able to do that. Bishabate Poju, Wani Beru Bakmuke Bobakonle, Oni Bikan, Tu Besi. If the load becomes too much, there is a way our fathers go about it. 
calling the earth to their rescue. This is too much. The earth, hear us. We need you to sprout up with this so 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 amount of plantation overnight. And it happens. So these folks were wondering. Now it is an advantage to the invaders, slave masters. It is also a disadvantage to them because these folks who gather together without saying a word. I'm talking about your ancestors. They could gather together without saying a word, making a single sound, and somebody is running out somewhere. Somebody is going crazy somewhere. So the slave master knew that these folks, they could lift everything, everything. How were your ancestors, black people, able to construct all of those buildings in the strange lands today? All those wonderful buildings, all those tunnels today, how were they able to, without the use of tractor? Somebody was able to talk to other elements of nature to come to their rescue. Now to the slave masters, that was an advantage. But when it comes to fighting for themselves, it is a disadvantage. So they went on to ban African spirituality amongst your ancestors who lives in diaspora who were taken slave. And they also went on not to pass it as an outlaw alone. They also took a proactive step in making sure that they were not able to pass the knowledge to their offspring how have you ever seen a typical a, a typical picture of a complete slave before especially those ones that are strong will aside the fact that they gargle them with a bell talking about the jingle bell so that where you get the jingle bells from christmas is when your slave is running there is a certain rod you have uh, a certain metal you put around your neck and you put bell around it so that when they are running, it makes sound, you can be able to trace them. So the bell jingles. So when you celebrate Christmas, and Christmas is a combination of a lot of a lot of abuse of black people. And aside from that, they also gaggle their mouth, making sure there's an iron rod passed through their tongue on that. So these people drool with saliva because they cannot even use their tongue. And after that, they also cage their mouth like a wild dog. They cage it not to be able to say a word, not to even talk of passing the knowledge of spirituality to their offspring. That was the breach. And the gap, the disconnection between your ancestors taken away from Africa here and the ones that you met here in diaspora. Are you following the history? Because those who forgot their past, we always repeat the mistake in the future. So they ensure that the passing across of the generational knowledge about spirituality is boycotted and abruptly cut short. Why? What was the offense of your ancestors? They simply know how to speak to things, just like we spoke to water. Even though what I teach you is quite elementary, Those who practice it really still practice it. You see, I'm going to ask you a question. There is a certain, a certain trouble going on as of the time I'm talking to you. This is the year 2021. In West Africa, Nigeria to be precise, where the Aousa Fulani, having killed all the Aousa, original Aousa, in the northern part of Nigeria, trying to invade the southern part of Nigeria, wanted to exterminate and do what we call genocide or ethnic cleansing amongst the Yoruba. And a certain young man rose up. They call him Sunday Igboho. And he was flaunting it in the public that is using the local charm, the traditional science, using the knowledge of our ancestors, to protect his own people with the backing of the kings. And it is so amazing that both the Christians and the Muslim, who would have tagged him as demonic, rally around support for him. They knew for a moment that Jesus cannot save, Allah cannot do anything. Everyone had to go back to their traditional way of ensuring themselves. And they could not even rebuke the man in public. Rather, they sponsor it with money. So I said, how come we live in hypocrisy? Suddenly, 
this man and all his method of safeguarding his own tribe men ensuring continuity is not demonic anymore so we're going to go back to the ancestral way before the invention of the low level language we speak today what i speak to you is a low level language the perfect mode of communication then amongst the ancestors were not a sound or a word there was a gradual deformity of our mode of communication so the ancestors could, could look at each other even without even seeing each other the mere thought of themselves could pass an accurate message across to one another so it is possible for them to sit down here somewhere maybe in america and they will tell you plainly that somebody is coming to meet me from nigeria and you'll be so now the concept of teleporting telepathy teleguiding telecommunication did not start from tv invention it started with your ancestors they were highly spirited people so somebody will make an argument and say everybody is inventing technology africans are talking about spirituality people must stick to what their role is in the universe in all the world over every single person who encountered african people knows that these are spirited folks if only we decided to invest and also explore our spirituality to the maximum level we will not need to be contending with those who are inventing and going to the mass and moon from time immemorial our ancestors have been disappearing from one place to the other so if you are talking about moving from one place to the other as the greatest achievement we started it you can physicalize it but your ancestor they knew how to go about it in those times too there's something called kanoko at least before they started using vehicle to move around our fathers were moving how did they move around cover miles move from one place to the other establish their kingdom here and there they call it shortcut abuja so when they want to take a journey if the journey is so long and so they just speak to the earth and they speak to it take me from here to there and they move in a jiffy up until the time and the reign of only adesoji aderemi such a thing is in existence amongst us and i recall that there's a story of some a certain general overseer of cac is this cac they call the man joseph ayobabalola he uses such a technology too. It has nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. So that man in his own days will tell you that there is a crusade so 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 and so so place and will tell his disciple to go there ahead of him. Sometimes before they get there, he has got it there, done the crusade, and got him back home. How did he do it? Such a technology exists, and it is still amongst us still today. Now, when the invaders saw all of this, they needed a systematic way to either make you deny it through the instrument of demonization. First, they said, it's okay to accept Jesus, Allah, as part of God. Gradually, they said, it's only Jesus or only Allah. And gradually, they now went into 
your language of communication. And then they begin to say one is black, the other is white. Then they went into your dressing and then they went into your education and then they mess you up. They mess you up totally. One of such recovery and restoration is what we want to do here today. And it is talking about understanding plantain. What are the things that our ancestors have discovered about planting? Either the planting leaf, the planting trunk, the spiritual aspect of planting itself. Please, I will enjoin you to listen. If it is possible to divorce the comment section for now, listen carefully. Not everyone will do to you or do for you what I'm doing for you. The public demonstration of most of these things. We have different species of plantain. Some will call this plantain. Others will call this plantain or they call it banana. Okay, the abortionary. Okay, the abortionary. In Yoruba, they call it Ogede is called banana. It is English that differentiate between, they say this is plantain, and they say this is uh, banana. But in Yoruba, we say Ogede abortion, which means eatable plantain, the one you can snack on. Ogede agbagba, the one that you have to fry before you eat. So the acidic level of this one is higher than that of this one. So your ancestors, they knew it. Let's start from the fact that you don't need to stress yourself to get a cool area, a concentrated, a concentrated cool area anywhere you plant the planting no matter how dry a planting is and no matter how dry a soil is if you want to make a soil loamy and wet without water just get a seed of planting and plant it there and watch the soil behave itself you watch the soil begin to behave itself. When you want to return fertility to a land, maybe you have cultivated it too much or you have not cultivated it before, just plant a planting somewhere and you'll see the way the continents of the soil will change because the planting and the earth have a covenant together. atile. So when you are talking about ease in life, calmness in life, ability to turn evil to good, ability to turn bad to best, ability to bring sorrow and turn it into joy, it is very important that planting is involved in your ritual. And for those who believe they need a cleansing around them, who want to live in a perpetual state of spiritual cleansing, if at your backyard you can plant either this type or this type, you will be able to have connection with the universe, unlimited connection with the, with the universe. Unfortunately, the demonization continue by the Christians who are the gatekeepers of the invaders, saying that the witches normally hold their meeting under a plantain tree. There's a lie. As a matter of fact, the witches don't even have their meeting during the night. 
when the witches want to meet, they don't need to run from you. They meet physically just like we are meeting. They meet like normal human beings. They hold their conference like normal human beings. So when you want to condition your environment where you live for spiritual accessibility and connection, uninterrupted connection with nature, the very most important tree you can ever plant is the planting tree. Before you begin to plant mango tree for food and all that, plant a planted tree. You see, the earth that you touch and you step on, when you bring ease to the earth, the earth yield its increase or increase for you. So what you practically do is the earth that surrounds the environment where you lay your head and sleep. You want to condition it and give it some level of service by bringing the connection and the covenant between planted tree and the earth to reality. So the earth may be suffering from drought, dryness, all sorts. You, in your own duty to the earth, and a way to also serve the earth so that the earth can save you is to plant a planted tree. So when you plant a planted tree, the universe or the nature naturally condition the earth around you to be soft. A dry soil can be turned into a loamy soil just by planting a planted tree. And the consequence of that the consequence of that is that you, in response, the earth gets softened for you. And anything you ask of it, it yields its food for you. So everywhere you step, it begins to respond to you positively. Everywhere you step, begins to respond to you positively. This is a language of communication between the earth and the planting tree, which you cannot understand. You don't need to know how it works. Just do your own part and watch how the miracle begins to happen. Another thing is the, the fast reproductive ability. The fast, the rapid reproductive ability. Remember, it is one thing for the earth to yield its increase for you. It is for the increase to come when you need it and in a rapid growth, a rapid rate. If you are looking for 10 banana trees, all you need to do is just to plant one banana seed. That's all. That's all. Binabakua feru boju bogede bakua for my rockbo. A plantain tree does not die or go down without replacing itself. And then they replace themselves fast rapidly as a matter of fact when you plant one planted tree you are the one to also be cutting off some around it it rapidly and so our fathers the ancestors they knew the consequence of this and whenever they are talking about reproduction multiplication increase into multiplication increase they reach out to the plantain tree. It is part of the words of nature, the incantation that we speak. And you realize when we never want to make sacrifice, plantain or banana are essential part of it because of their fertility rate. Fertility rate. The abalist, I will be delving into their area a little bit soon. The abalist also make use of it when they are trying to make some fertility herbs for you as a woman or as a man. Unfortunately, in our world today, when somebody say I'm going banana, they are trying to use it for a situation where they are confused. They are mentally deranged, confused and all, whereas that is not the true nature of planting of banana. This element of nature have its own voice. Like I said, is, is the lie, softness. Mm. Let's say a, a, a plantain trunk does not need you to begin to get a cutlass. 
which means that life becomes easy whenever you apply it. When you apply it. So whenever we are making sacrifice of nature, irrespective of your element, we always request for plantain or banana. Because it is soft. Aside from that it's thought, it also replenishes your energy so fast. So a person who is downtrodden and experiencing hardship in life, we use plantain or banana as a signification or as a signal and a request from nature or universe that we want the person's life to be soft like that of a banana. And we want them to jack back to life with so much strength, unquantifiable strength. So most of the time, this will be part of what we use for sacrifice, a bo or a tutu in African spirituality. Now I'm going to be giving you a single sacred knowledge and the use of plantain now. So the plantain trunk, the trunk of a plantain, say plantain tree or trunk, is essential when we are doing a replacement right. We understand during a course jaye, sometimes now, some folks have a long lifespan and some have a short lifespan. However, the fact that you have a long lifespan does not mean that you cannot be imposed upon a shorter lifespan. Let's not mistake it. The fact that you are not chasing someone does not mean someone is not chasing you. Those who understand the knowledge of nature can either be good people or bad people. And the disposition of their art determines what they use the knowledge of nature for. You offend someone or not does not mean they cannot be offended by you. A lot of people, because of their cause, they are a lot in life. They experience antagonism, unnecessary hatred, envy, jealousy from people constantly and because mankind of this descent and race have been able to discover how to speak to nature and also to manipulate it there is such a thing we call external invasion which was not part of your lot in life during Akosigaye but being introduced to you by someone else like when someone plants a negative seed in a positive field, it will begin to germinate. It will begin to germinate. So a field is neutral. Whatever you put in it will germinate. A life is neutral. Whatever you put in it will germinate. It is not left for the husbandman or the farmer to say, I'm not going to allow this by putting fence around his farm or ensuring that a constant weeding take place. The husband man or the farmer is you, ensuring that you constantly put up a firewall around your spirituality through vaccination, or getting yourself cleansed all of the time. So there are people who, without offending anybody, people just don't like them. And on the extreme end of not being liked or being envied all the time, some people could introduce into you untimely death. Untimely death can now begin to manifest itself through failure in some of your organs, through your own irresponsibility. So somebody wants to be killed. And somebody decided to say, okay, I'm going to call your Ori and the name of your mother. I'm going to soak it inside alcohol. So you said, this person go for your 
they want to stop smoking they want to stop drinking they can't they have become an addict now i'm not talking about those who just become addict by picking up the habit i'm talking about this way of life someone who should not be found drinking at all someone who knows that is allergic to alcohol but he cannot do without alcohol and this happens most of the time when people understand your a war your spiritual allergy they ensure that that spiritual allergy of yours is your favorite food you are my shallow this year begins to work against you are you getting the logic i'm trying to teach and break it down for you so that you know so we'll tell somebody you cannot afford to be eating seafood and we'll say ah baba this seafood is my best food how can i do it i can't go a day without it what imba means share i want to then share what you look by certification so the person will continue to retrogress and it can happen this way now watch me the person begin to retrogress from retrogression depression setting from depression you begin to hear a sweet voice in your head that kill yourself kill yourself and at the end of it you kill yourself now it didn't happen straight away it happens systematically in your power what you plant is all right what will kill you have been planted in you they just allow you to work it out you become the executioner of your own death i'm teaching you spiritual art arithmetic and the spiritual science now they know that according to your ori and your apostle jagi you are allergic to a certain way of life they ensure that they instigate you all of the time to be addicted to the very thing that will bring your downfall so when you go to your babalawo and you are being told you will say sorry sir i don't know what to do that's so we say some men you can't afford to be having sexual intercourse with a woman who is fair in complexion and the man will say boronioi he said that your man if the woman is not as yellow as a porridge they cannot rest they can have erection boss didn't say the contract in law the more you do it with a fear in compassion person contract is going down depression is setting in and some in the extreme case case they begin to have health breakdown and at the end of the day they die not because they are meant to die like that but because somebody knew their allergy their spiritual allergy and decided to tie them together with it tie them together with it now these are people who understand how to speak to as element of nature as this as element of nature as this even the air you breathe somebody could speak to it and make somebody amongst you run mad i get in the lodge now people cannot be using african spirituality to affect your life and you'll be going to jewish spirituality you are mad it is only a foolish person that goes to where it is not the source of his or a problem to get a solution you can't rebook your african spiritual attack with the name of jesus from israel it is not possible when they say witchcraft is behind your problem it is the same witchcraft you go to tell and say i beg biko please allow me not saying you want to read you will just be rebooking yourself with the door and be paying money to your to your pastor now get the knowledge and free yourself all of these things start with the knowledge of the universe and understanding of the words of mouth so there is such a thing as the truncation of life untimely it is those set of people that their life were truncated untimely that becomes genie that becomes ebora what you call unclean spirit which the on the aunt house ghosts and all that because they have not fulfilled their their episode this life some of them become akudaya we will talk about that some other time so remember where i started from a field will germinate whatever is put in it it is left for the farmer or the husband man to ensure that there's a firewall or a wall around the field so that there's not an invader or he proactively uproot every weed However, you sleep like every other person. You eat like every other person. You go to everywhere that everybody go to. You drink what everybody drink. You have not sat down to ask yourself, what am I and what aligns with me? So you see some people's organs, some people's body reacting against them, medical doctor, as such and such and such. 
they could not find out what is going on. They could not find out what is going on. Apologies, if you're having a, if you're having network issue, if you're having network issue, I hope it comes back better. So it is your responsibility in life. To ensure that you on your own safeguard your own spirituality and your own life. You safeguard your spirituality and your own life. Sorry, I don't know. I think the network is up. It's having an issue. So when a person has been captured in whatever capacity and sentenced to death, either outright death, or gradual death. The trunk of a plantain is one of the important instruments we use. That thing you call non living thing, that very thing you call non living thing, is one of the important aspects we use to replace you and we conduct a burial ceremony for you, even though you are still alive, as a replacement of your body in the earth. Remember, I told you the covenant between and plantain tree. The covenant between the earth and plantain tree. So a plantain trunk could represent a human being, a full human being. I'm not going, I'm not going to go into detail on how that is done. I'm just going to tell you. So it is the plantain trunk that we dress up like a human being. And we also... We wrap it. We wrap it. We clothe it. Representation of you as your representative. So those who think they have killed you, we keep thinking that you are already dead. According to the world they have put in the universe, to them, you are dead, but yeah, you are not dead. Apologies, I can see myself, I'm frozen here. You can see I'm frozen here. Just make you make do with my audio. Sometimes the network can be so, so nasty. In continuation, one of the most important aspects of what we call a replacement or a redemption, the true African redemption, we redeem you back from the jaw of death. If we are able to know on time that there is a problem somewhere, if we are able to crack it on time, sometimes some people come for general divination or specific divination, or they want to appease the Aori, or they want to do a course of and also, and during this process, we are able to discover there is a looming death ahead of you. Something is about to happen. Let us do this on time. No, but Lord, if you are sending to your are you with me? Such a thing happened that we use the planting trunk. So the planting trunk eventually 
represent your full human body. So the earth, we pretend as if you are dead already and need to receive you. In replacement for that, you begin to live on your full old age. Your full old age. It is very essential. Your ancestor discovered that. Now, going back to the medicinal aspect of planting, do you know that when you cut a plantain leaf, either you boil it or you just cut the leaf and put it in water, water like this, overnight, and you drink it first thing in the morning, there is every possibility that your temperament and countenance remain calm, no anxiety. The same goes for the peel. When you peel off the plantain, the banana, or the plantain, the plantain peel, and you boil it in water. When you boil it in water, don't drink it immediately. Allow it the following morning and take a seat. Aside from flushing and cleansing your colon and all, it also helps your mental ability to remain calm so that you can think very well. You can think effectively. You can think with your right senses. You don't begin to spark everywhere. It helps to contain your spiritual energy in a well in a well coordinated manner. In a well coordinated manner. Those are secrets of your ancestors. So either you boil it or you don't boil it. Just a leaf of a plantain in a glass cup of water. Allow it to soak overnight and drink it. And you'll be fine. Any form of medicinal herbs that you want to make. Don't cover it up with aluminum cover. Get a plantain leaf, the plantain leaf, and use it to cover the cover the herbs to steam it up. And even whatever kind of food that you are trying to cook, instead of using aluminum pot, aluminum cover for it, can you first lace it with a plantain leaf? Because it transmits the calmness of plantain, the reproductive of plantain, the fertility of plantain, the covenant of increase, easiness easiness of plantain into whatever food you want to take and you just don't know you are just at the right moment at the right time right mode to receive whatever you you don't spark around you don't begin to those who have tried it are giving testimony about it. and we could see someone else who is also talking about how his or her grandfather used plantain truck and coughing to do spiritual work for some person. So you can see I'm not lying. Sheto Go Junior is genuine. Baba Feshira Pada. Bikuban Ben Waju, when we see that the energy of death is about to suck this particular terminate, either by external invasion or whatever, we reach out to the plantain tree. We reach out the plantain, we get it buried with some other things. As you know, in such a state, either you are a male or a female, such a thing is done stark naked. Stark naked. The one who is supposed to be redeemed is you will stay stark naked. Remember, this is a disclaimer. Remember, you must be able to trust your before you can go stark naked with him. Let him be the one who remain professional in his profession. And if it is possible, in this modern age, always allow him to sign an MOU or a caveat that is liable to be sued if he dares to molest you or sexually assault you. You should sign paper. 
in the case of not being able to be present and it needs to be done, then such a photo is sent. With caveat, let's not take things for granted. People can be crazy. Koma Dibo Gobe, thank you very much. Before the story begin to touch the heart, a lot of your pastors have taken you for granted, mess up your wife and the rest because of these things. Let everybody go legal. Everything should be legal, written legally. You cannot do this with this picture except what I ask you to do. If you do it, you will liable to whatever, whatever. You cannot touch me when I'm with you. I know even though you are going to be, if you do it, you are this and that and that. Simple thing. If he's not willing to sign or she's not willing to, because a woman who is a, who is Yanifa can do it for a man. A man who is Babala who can do it for a woman. It doesn't matter. If we are living in a world where people just face business to business, no pleasure and business together, we shouldn't we'll have a problem. Sign legal agreement because it is important that when you want to die, you go the way of the earth, the way you came into the earth. You came from it like that. You go that way. We are trying to make, we are trying to set up the earth to think that you are dead already. So that those who are looking for your dead can assume that you're already dead. So sometimes we also tell the person after the whole thing to lay low. To lay low. When they assume you are dead and we try to do redemption, it's not the time for you to now be having birthday and you post it on your WhatsApp tattoos or you begin to open house and you say house for me ceremony on Facebook. You go and lay low. Let them think that it is true. You are gone. But what be raso? Kolu peri opada domo tuntun. The crux of the matter is that the planted trunk is very important. That aspect of life. That's what we are trying to say. I'm going to be giving you the last one now. We have said many things about the positive usefulness of plantain plantain tree plantain leaf plantain seed plantain this and that but do you know that as beautiful as plantain tree or plantain is also ah I don't know if I should say this on air. Before I say, I like you to remember the story of the good that you did or you do stay with you. The evil that you do also comes back to you. I hope you remember that every stone that you throw to a palm tree, the palm tree throws it back to you. So if you use this knowledge for evil, the evil will not depart from your home and your life. Those who are of this way of life, having this understanding, when they want to make a person run mad, The most important thing they need is a padlock. Somebody saying maybe I should reserve it for them. Let's give it to them. But indirectly. The most important thing you need is a padlock. With some words of nature, some few incantations. Maybe a piece of red glue. When you have called the person, your mother saying, you know, if you want it to be effective, you look for a plantain tree and you cut it in an arc manner, you know. Imagine this is a imagine this is a plantain tree. So you cut it like this. You don't cut it like this. 
you will cut it like this and you open it up whatever you open up from it don't let it go it must not drop then the padlock is dropped inside and it is closed back it is closed back by the way to be part of our telegram group you can just search baba yoba on telegram we understand the video is freezing uh, is the app that we are using that is causing it so you cut it like this open it a little with your cut glass don't let that stuff drop drop the padlock in it close it back if you do that and you allow it 24 hours when you go back there you will not find the padlock anymore people say they can't see me i think it's best that you can't see me when you go back to the palm tree uh to the planted tree you will not find the padlock again otilo See, such a mad person, such a person that you have run mad, can never, ever again be normal. Kosi ba she, mwa le ro gwen she. Mwa le kosi ya ni to fe kosi ba bala wato fe yi to fe we. The same thing for those who are taking up profession as an asunder, or a side chick. If they want to turn your husband's heart against you, all they need to do is to do what we turn somebody against somebody. What they need is a figurine, two figurines. Two figurines, just two figurines. Somebody can help us type T t dot me slash baba yoba on the comment section so that people can follow t dot me t dot m e slash baba yoba that's our insta our, our telegram uh group those psychic people all they need is two figurines a figurine in the image of a woman a figurine in the image of a man small small stuff like that And they tie them together, backing each other. This one will face west, the other one will face east. And they use both black thread and uh, white and red thread to tie them together. They never, they, 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 they. And they hide it inside the plant entry. That's the end of that marriage. The man will never come home. He will never remember home. The same way with water. If it is inside the water, it was put in. Problem, Daniel. Now, these are the kind of things that some of you only know about African spirituality. The rest that we started with, you don't know about it. All these beautiful, good things, positive things that we know, these things can give to us. You don't specialize on it. Your Babalao don't teach you that. A knowledge of evil, you'll be willing to pay for it, and they will be eager to do it for you. That's as potent as a plantain is because of the covenant between the plantain and the earth. It is almost like an element of yes to anything that comes across it. So either you use it for evil, it will say yes. Either you use it for good, it will say yes. But I'm asking you today, what would you use it for? 
you understand the planting. The planting trunk, the planting leaf, the planting itself, banana, whatever it is, what would you rather use it for? If you are given the opportunity by the universe to be a God for one moment, what kind of God would you be? Can we entrust most of this power into your hands? I could go deeper, but I wouldn't want to bore you with the detail because Elomi Nuni and it's your pa to cause let me dariji and to my palongwa if it's your chiro gui katioshe longwa. Now, your slave masters met your ancestors, understanding all these things. Knowing all this way of life. And because they are also of evil descent, they chose to demonize it totally and say, no, you guys will not use this against us because we are coming to kill you. Our mission is to kill, to steal, and to destroy you. We will not allow you to retain this knowledge or teach your children all these things. And so we find ourselves in a state of fearlessness. And instead of all this beautiful knowledge, we're giving Jesus, we're giving Allah. At a gunpoint, sometimes at the expense of slitting the truth of your ancestors. That is understanding planting. You can see very innocent looking, very harmless looking element of nature could do fantastic things for you and wreck so much havoc by you. How much more what water can do? What about the sand, the earth? What about the air? What about fire itself? What about other animals in the forest? If you understand what they can do, you realize that you don't need a God in the sky to do fantastic things on this earth. If you understand, only understanding the element of nature, that's why you are a seeker, seeking knowledge. Who would ever believe that such a thing you call non living thing can be used to wreck life and to also create life? Who could ever believe? Have you ever been told? Do you know all these things? Whereas all of these things are things that you can also do for yourself. So if it is only a word that you desire and a decree you want to make, either against your life or for your life, all you need to do is just to make a small hole. Make a small hole in a planting trunk, a living planting trunk, and sigh into it like three times, like this. The day the grass cutter speaks to the soil, the soil will open up for it. I, so so so, the son or daughter of so so so, I speak to you today. Every word of my mouth becomes a decree. This must happen, this must happen, that must happen. And you watch things manifest themselves. But this is a warning. For whatsoever you beckon on a planted tree, you must also expect a copy of it in return. If you say you should kill others, you will be killed. If you say others will not prosper, you too will not prosper. So having handed over the knowledge to you, what will you do with it? What would you do with it as a person? What will you do? The same voice that the plantain trunk or tree make or speak, the same word is the same word that sugar can also speak, a share authority. So be it. And how you will know their understanding and ability to get words from you and perform it as you have detected is 
the amount of water they gather. Enormous water. And water is so intelligent. Such an element that having so enormous water all the time, I able to hear you and do according to what you have said. So somebody was asking me, I always feel the presence of a tree coming to make love to me. And it will come inside my room, molest me, and all of those. So we have to do a divination. And during the divination, we please start putting your question. I'll spend the next 10 minutes answering questions and we go. We have had enough for today. During the divination, I was given once in a while, I get a revelation. I was given a revelation. Of when she was way younger. And she traveled to their village. And she mistakenly uttered a word by the side of a tree, professing love in a romantic manner to a tree, forgetting that there is nothing called non-living things. When you make a covenant with the earth, the earth will ask you of it. When you make a covenant with water, water will ask you of it. When you make a covenant with three, the tree we ask you of it. So when she became a marriageable age, it is not the tree coming to have sex with her. It is the words that she created. Or when it is the words of her mouth that became a reality. The words of her mouth became a reality. So even though she wanted to set you, she couldn't. Then the world became life, and the life started troubling her. And then we needed to go and cut down that particular tree. The tree is a bearer of is a bearer of witness for what she has said. Without the death of that tree, everything remains status quo. When we cut down the tree, no sacrifice, nothing. We just I just told them cut down the tree and then. That was the end of the struggle. That was the end of the struggle. So you should be mindful of what you say. If the words of your mouth could create an unpleasant reality, why don't you use the words of this mouth to create the pleasant reality that you are looking for? So you must train your children, not only yourself, to be mindful of what you say, especially when they are beside any element of nature that has water in it, either by the riverside plantain, sugar cane, all those things that carries water, that secret water a lot, they must be careful. They must be careful. Somebody is saying, we are answering questions now. For clarity, is it banana or plantain leaf or peel used in water overnight? Any of them. When it comes to the water, water, to cure yourself of anxiety, insanity, depression, also, you can use the leaf of either plantain or the banana tree, uh, the leaf of the banana or plantain, any of them. But if you have to cook, don't cook the leaf. Cook the back, the back of the peel, the back of the peel. Wash it, cook the back, allow it to set you down, drink the water in the morning. Yoba, can you use banana to unite any kind of charm someone may have spoken against you to untie any kind of charm someone may have spoken against you we have to do something else entirely it has to be using of this we have to create the same scenario for the healing because i told you 
if they put it inside the the trunk, if you go there tomorrow morning, you won't find that thing anymore. It has gone. So it has to be the creation of a new reality for you. However, I must tell you, there are some things that cannot be undone except by the person who did it. Some things cannot be undone except by the person who did it. Now, I'm going to tell you a little story. And that's because we are not ashamed of the duality, the duality of life and the ability of African spirituality. There is such a theme that is used to curb infidelity. They call it magun. Magun means don't climb. Magun means don't climb. So when a woman, when a man or a woman suspects their spouse or partner of infidelity, so there is such a thing that you can use. The moment they cross it over, whoever sleeps with them will die. And whoever is kind of it, if they don't have sexual intercourse, they will also die. So it's like this. If you give it a date and say within seven days, if my wife or my husband did not sleep with also also thing, then the chance will take effect against their body. So if they are not really going through infidelity, you are just suspecting them, they will die. But if they are also going through infidelity and somebody's climbed them, the person can either die, depending on how you have programmed this stuff to work. Either you have told the charm to begin to affect them when they eat okra, either drink water or eat local egg. And all. The error, the sorry, the allergy of that charm, whenever the person eats it, So a certain man reached out to me, was a deeper life person. He attends deeper life. He was about the age of seven. And he was crying. He said, he has been a virgin all his life. He has been a virgin all his life until he met this particular girl who is a single mother, whom he likes. And then one thing led to the other. Kanji o Baba, Baba o Bobby, Bobby led to something else. So they had sex. Immediately, he had the sex with the man, with the lady. He started feeling like a, a pin is pinching him. His eyes everywhere began to swell up. It started growing keloid. Inconveniences, everything they have gone to church, they did deliverance and all that. It's not working. So he reached out to me and we did divination. And we realized that it was the lady that caused it. So we reached out to the lady. The lady herself did not know that there's something wrong with her. And we discovered that it was the father of her child who did not want to let her go. Some men are wicked. Some women are also very dangerous. You don't want her to die. You don't want her to leave. You don't want to marry her. And you still don't want somebody else to have anything to do with her. So we asked the lady, who was your, who is your baby's father? We need to see. So we travel everywhere to a kitty state to go and meet this guy. Because I've tried my best. It's not working. This is some kind of charm that the owner is the one who can undo it. So we went to the guy. When we got there, the guy accepted that he did something on the girl. What was your reason? He doesn't want to marry the girl, but he wants to be having free intercourse with her. If I can't have you, no one else can. So you must be mindful of this man that comes to your life, this woman. Some people are like left. Uh, le uh, those who are suffering from leprosy. They cannot milk a cow, but whatever milk you have gotten from a cow, they can throw it away. So we gave the guy a bread, a wolu bebe. And after a while, he accepted. He just walked into his room. And the minute he walked into his room, we heard a gunshot three times. Three gunshots. Ba, ba, ba. So I thought maybe he went to kill himself. I was like, ah, 
So finally, this, this other guy will also die. So a few moments we ran out, he also came to join us. What happened? I'm telling you, not a magic, not a... Immediately, he shot the gun three times. This man who has been suffering from keloid everywhere with his eyes red, instantly the keloid started disappearing. For the first time in almost a year, the guy received his in his body. Instantly. And before we could even get back to his station, he was already feeling fine. His body was renewed. There is no way I would have known that shooting a gun that does not belong to me up with that person. The one who did the drug or the charm, the science, he did it in a damn gun, local gun. He did it in a local gun and he kept it to himself. Even if I know that I need to shoot gun upward three times, I wouldn't know the gun to shoot because the gun to use is not with me. But my own role is to talk with me to touch light where we can get the solution. And at the end of the day, we ask, what about this lady? And they vowed that the lady is never going to get another person. So he was able to release the guy who came to me, but not who was a trap. So as many men that sleep with that girl, they will be like a proxy between the charm the guy has done and the... Oh, initially, Bill. At the year, they will never look into your power. And you women too, be careful of the man you give your heart to. Some of you will just think because somebody is professing love for you, it's okay. When you begin to see envy and jealousy in a man, run, no. Run. They will do and undo, especially when they know this way of life. These are the things that make them feel like African spirituality is demonic. But we are we demonic now. We that are that are saying all these things and telling you to be careful, are we demonic? I would not do such a thing for anybody if you put a gun to my head. So we are such a thing in African spirituality. The duality of life. Duality of life. When a man begins to think that you are having money more than him, it's time to pack your bag and baggages and run. When a man begins to feel like you are intimidating him and all that, you, it's time to pack your bag and baggage. Whoever tells you that, eh, that the man is the head of the wife, that you must submit, don't listen to them. Oh. Just run for your life first. If it is your pants, your bra, even if it's a strand of your hair that it can lay out of, it can mess your life up forever. And there is this quick thin line between love and hate. The intensity of love is the tenacity of hatred. When the thing switch, people used to say, I can't do without you, begin to do themselves forever. Run, oh. Run, oh. Run, oh. Don't destroy your life, oh. This thing called love is not real, oh. That thing, that emotion of love, it can mess life up, oh. Run, oh. I've treated so many women who were destroyed by their husband. I've treated so many men who were destroyed by their wives. Run, no. When love begins to turn to, let me check your phone. Who is calling you? Where are you coming from? What do you mean? Sleep like this. Don't sleep like that. I'm the head of this house. I'm the... I won't say more than that. Run, no. Okay. Somebody say, Baba, you're back. Can you invite dead to yourself using plantain trunk? We use plantain trunk to replace a, a person who is supposed to die. We don't use it to invite death to ourselves. If we need to speak to the dead, we speak to them before they are buried. Riroku, when we believe someone is killed unjustly, there is a forensic uh, investigation we can do. The post-mortem test, or what they call it, we can do also. Before you bury the person, we can call the person back to life, give the person various kind of weapons to avenge their death. But while we are doing that, the reason why our father stopped doing that, and we stopped doing that generally is because when we say we want to avenge one death, we can ruin the whole family. The whole family can die. Because when the energy begins to spark everywhere, even those who did not kill the energy, truncate the life, but wish the life bad, they also die. And we have discovered that most of the time, 
when we do madarikan for a person, the person has to go and invest in buying casket because members of their family will die. That's when you will know that those who are saying, I wish you well, don't really want you to be well. So the, the, why they are thinking of evil for you, they are dying. And you too must be able to know that you cannot afford to go ahead and back back evil. I met a man, I gave him a charm of mother Rico. I said, use this thing. And he asked me, what is the repercussion? And I said, the repercussion is that even if you are the one trying to wish others bad, evil will happen to you. He said, he's not interested anymore. So I deassociate myself from such a man because I have realized that he's also a bad person. If because the thing that you wish other will happen to you, that's the reason why you don't want to do a certain thing. You are a bad person. You are not worthy to be related with. You are not worthy of it. You are not worthy of it. Any other question? Somebody say, please, can you use banana for good luck? Why are you looking for good luck? Why are you looking for good luck? The good luck charm. The best good luck charm is hard work. Be strategic. The best good luck charm is hard work and be strategic. And if you want to now kill or get pata pata of them all, is good character. Good character. If anybody says this is a good luck charm, they are deceiving, they are just collecting your money. Go and change your character. Be of good character. A good character is a charm. It attracts people. And then add, add work to it. Add work and be strategic. And luck will follow you. If you believe, you believe in luck. If you believe in luck. Any other question, please? What if the plantain tree used is growing in a in a flower in a flower pot? In a flower. No, 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 no. We need the one that is naturally growing on the ground. I'm seeing some people say if does plantain grow in UK, in London, and the rest of them. The fact that it doesn't grow in the country where you can anywhere else. It's growing everywhere, er, anywhere else. And uh, that's the uniqueness of such a plant of such a continent. Such a continent. That's the usefulness of such a continent. Hmm? So you must remember women find a way to connect. Do we have any other question? Do we have any other question? Any other question? And then we wrap it up. I don't know if the video is still freezing or it's not freezing, but what can we do? What can we do? If we have any other question, let's have it. And then if there's no other question, we just uh, round it up. Um, Baba, I didn't get a chance to ask my question the other day. You treated the topic of appeasing one story to dispose the egg as far as possible from your house. It's, if it's possible to do it in an open field or the place where people are passing, but very far from where you stay. Very far from where you stay. Maybe a kilometer or two away. Someone is asking, Baba Yoba, is there any special incantation to invite dead if one is tired of living this episode of life? You mean to invite death, special incantation to invite death. I hope you are not suicidal. The best incantation to invite death is to drive through Thornbillan Bridge, park your, park your car and jump into the ocean. You don't need to stress yourself. Or you go, or you, go, you just go into the, into the supermarket and buy a tapia piarat killer. You don't need to stress incantation on dying. But why do you want to die? The life is beautiful. 
Life is beautiful. How can you even truncate this episode of life and shield yourself from the responsibility and think the next episode of life will be beautiful? If you cannot face this episode of life and make do with it, how are you sure you can enjoy the next episode of life? Please don't die now. We need you. 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 Don't die. Don't die now. So please, suicide is never the answer. Somebody is offering that you reach out to him or if you need to talk. Everybody is saying, please stay, stay alive. We need you alive now. Imagine someone like me had embraced suicide and died. Would you be able to learn from me? Would you be? Sometimes the best way to encourage yourself is not by reaching out to others, is to find a conviction to live by yourself. Sometimes people saying we love you, we do, they can only say that. They also have their issue. The best way to live is to convince yourself that you want to be alive. You must make the decision within yourself. I want to be alive. But for what? People find death so easy when they have lost out on purpose in life. What? Why are you here? The moment you find a purpose for living, death becomes irritating. Do you know that if your life is purposeful and you are pursuing it, 200 years alive is very short. But when your life is not purposeful and you are just there, even 10 years look so long, are you going to make your years so short? By living a life of purpose, doing things that count, crashing your goals, lay them down, crash it. Smash your goals and reward yourself. Send a certain word or name to the people who can sculpt a, pla a plaque for you and let them give you an award. I reward you. Whenever you take a mask, reward yourself. Encourage yourself that there is more to life and hang around positive people. I, I don't believe in suicide. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. It's a waste of resources of the universe. And you're going to pay for it. Encourage yourself. Encourage yourself. Somebody is asking, Baba, is it possible for someone to take another person's glory? It depends on what you call glory. But if it is to influence your life negatively, yes, it is possible. It is possible. They will just do what we call routing. They will route the goodness of this one and give it to them. A mother came to me. The wickedness of people. A mother came to me and said, I realized that my, my daughter-in-law is the one with the star. Because since my son met her, things have been looking upward. Meanwhile, they have done the acquisition of the boy. So what she wants to do is to divert the glory of this girl to the son so that the boy will have mouth in the home. So I now looked at her and I said, there is dry madness and there is wet madness. Which one do you particularly want? Which one would you appreciate? Because if I close my eyes and open it and you are still there, I will use you as a specimen. You will become a, a, a lab rat. How can people be wicked? You went to these people's house and married their daughter and say you will take care of her just because she's she's better in terms of ex exhibiting, you know, sources than your son. You just you want to change. She must have gone to someone else. Maybe they are successful or not. That's your problem. But there is such a thing, it's possible. It is possible. That's why I said you must be careful of people you say they love. When you see a little bit of envy in them. Someone who cannot allow you to live your own life and fulfill your own, it's not worth spending your life with. They will mess you up. They will mess you up. 
he will mess you up. So it is possible. For how long can we cook the banana peel? Five, ten minutes is okay. Five, ten minutes is okay. To overcook it. We just want to extract the, the juice around it. All right, so we are we are we are we are inviting the young man who who want a, a spell for death. We are inviting you to our to our, our telegram channel. Uh, you meet a lot of friends, like-minded people there, and you'll be able to also see a reason to leave. Should you be looking for consultation and all? You can chat this WhatsApp line. You will get a response immediately. Follow the link to choose a service. Do what is needful. Don't wait to talk to me before you do what is needful. It is when you do what is needful that leads you to talking to me. And for those who say, Baba, I just want to talk to you. Don't talk by me sorrow. I have people, lots of people on my neck. Don't just call me and say, you just want to talk. Talk. There's no time for talking. Honestly, there's no time for talking. You may come to me for divination and I realize you are suicidal and I offer my service to you. But go to a trained specialist if you are suicidal. Talk to them about you. There are people trained for that. And please, this is the reason why I'm not the one offering my service to this young man. If I say talk to me, I'm lying. I don't have the time. The all time I have is what I spend with you. I'm spending almost two hours with everybody online now so that we can find a reason for living. People have time on their hand, can also offer their service to help this young man and bring him back to, to, to life. If I say I'm offering my service to you, I'll be lying. The little, the little 24 hours in a day is not even enough for me. The little 24 hours in a day is not even enough for me. So that's why I'm not offering that service for that young man. So please, if you are a specialist in mental health, please offer your service. Offer your service to them. So somebody is saying, uh, that's what my mother-in-law did to me did to me, my ex, until find out true spirituality. All right, I didn't quite get what you say. Please, Baba, if someone dreams wearing blue cloth near the beach, what does it mean? Blue cloth. You can wear any cloth to the beach. If you don't identify with water, it will make meaning. So what is your element? Let's start with that. I dream about water flowing in my household but the water never causes damage. Does it mean anything? We need to know your element. Why is water coming to you? Why is water coming to you? I've answered this question, please. How long can we cook the banana peel? Five, ten minutes. Five, ten minutes is okay. Five, ten minutes is okay. So please, every one of us here, we're going through a lot and we've been through a lot also. We just decided to hang on alive. West boy, please, we need you alive. We need you alive. We need you alive. You can come to our Telegram channel, Baba Yoba. Search for Baba Yoba on Telegram and we'll be able to shine. Remember, we hold the Shrine Session every Sunday, 8 p.m. Nigerian time. Shrine Session every Sunday, 8 p.m. Nigerian time on Telegram, where people are able to drop in audio via audio chat. Everybody give their own opinion on topic we are discussing. It's not going to be about your body alone teaching and all that. People be able to proactively mention or state the things that they think will better across as African spiritualists. 8 p.m. Nigerian time on Telegram. Baba Yoba on Telegram. HPM Nigeria time every Sunday. We call it Shrine Session. Shrine Session. Shrine Session. All right. So, um, Valentino is asking, this is the last question we're taking. Valentino is asking, Baba, is it, pos Aboru Boye, is it possible to call the dead, that is, dead dad or mom that has passed away 
for a chat with me. You want to talk to the dead? Why? We have a living who is trying to die here, Valentino. West boy is trying to die. Why don't you talk to the living so we can have them alive? Let the dead rest. Hmm? Let the dead rest. The moment their body has been buried, they have started their journey of reincarnation. The universe could speak, the universe could speak to you, could speak to you using the image of your loved ones. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's the loved one that you are seeing. The universe just wants to get your attention at that time using what you can what you can relate with the most to get your attention. So people who want to talk to the dead, I'm saying there is a living who is trying to die. Before he dies, why don't you talk to him? I would love to talk to the living, not the dead. We have a living amongst us who want to die. Can you talk to them instead of the dead? All right. All right. That will be the end of today's teaching. I hope you have enjoyed and you've been able to learn one or two things um, in today's episode of African spirituality. However, uh, so you don't think that this is a sacred plant that cannot be eaten. You can get your own plantain to and speak to and then consume them the way you want to. I wish you a good night, a good morning, a very good day. And I wish the best for you all the time. Those who eat plantain testify of its benefit. May you be beneficial to your generations unborn, even when you are no more here. Nobody experienced hardship taking in a plantain or a banana. As soft as a banana and plantain is bringing sooth, sweetness, and ease to your throat. May you pass through everything in life with ease. May you come out victorious. May your life be forever sweet. May everything you touch be soft for you. May the ground below your feet not be brazen against you, not be hard against you. May the covenant between the plantain tree and the earth begin to work for you. May your life be soft. May every ashy on your way as from today come to an end. May you never for a day remember the days of your sadness again. May you not die without replication. You will be fatal in your place of work. You will be fatal in your home, in your marriage. You will be fatal in your business. You will be fatal in your private and public life. You will be fatal in your health. You will be fatal in your body. May everywhere the sole of your feet get you be a loamy soil, bringing much fertility, yielding its increase for you. As the plantain tree never runs dry, even in the desert, may your life be full of water, water of greatness, water of awesomeness, water of goodness, water of victory. May you be a quencher of thirst for people. When it comes to greatness, may people reach out to you. May you be remembered in the days of importance. May you be a person of value. And may you be so enormous in usefulness that the world will say you are a synonym to essentia. Essentia abroad. May your world become authority as from today. May evil that comes inside of you disappear. May goodness that comes inside of you reproduce themselves. May you be useful in and out. Ashe. Koribe. 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 Koribe.